Hi, I'm Jay Huayala, and I'm on a venture to find those food trucks that everyone's been craving about. Like in Alamo Ranch Food Truck Park, we found a truck that serves non-traditional Mexican food in a non-traditional way. And then we find a truck that is number one in San Antonio due to the fact of having multiple varieties of Indian food. Lastly, a truck with an interesting name, but with great flavors of food. That's all here, right now, on The Food Truck Show. to me is called El General. Now, they're serving up food very interesting with ceviche, chili, and a few other interesting items. So, why not? Let's check it out. This is El General. Well, thank you for joining us here at the Food Truck Show. We started these, uh, these food, these business over here because of my dad. Okay. My dad was real famous in California, Mexico. Like he used to be like like and nobody I mean he never wanted to be like famous or huh? get his food out there. We started doing this in the middle of the the pandemic. Okay, okay. Yeah. We, we just I was working construction and all of a sudden I started taking plates to work. That's and then uh, there was like a com the company was like maybe like 5,000 people and it was just taking plates and plates and all of a sudden me and my wife started talking hey you know what let's see if my dad's recipe hits okay so we were we started out in Corpus Christi we won uh, we were number one in Corpus Christi okay. we did a couple of uh, shows uh, we came out on TV many times and the news everywhere all right well I got the queso video tacos and you know it tasted really good it tasted very flavorful <laughs> Delicious media sauce, you know, it was great. Okay. I had the Kesi tacos and high quality 10 out of 10 would come again. We were just driving down, saw this spot, tried it out, and now it's one of our favorites. So today I came to El General and I got the, uh, the Piria Torta. It was awesome, real Mexican, uh, authentic flavor. It's awesome, you gotta try it. But now we're gonna talk about food. Check it. And our uh, fan favorite plate is the Piria Kesi tacos. And then the way to make birria queso tacos, um, you gotta get, you can just get any kind of meat. It's gotta be a special kind of meat, and it's good. There's a lot of preparation on the birria. Birria, in order to be birria, has to be marinated for like 12 hours before you can cook it. And then the juice that comes with the tacos, it's the the consomme, and the consomme it's the broth that comes out of the meat. So once once you cook the birria. We get the consomme, we get it in the pan, and then uh, the way to make the tacos, you get your tortillas, you dip them in the consomme that came right, came right out of the meat, dip them in there, throw a little bit of oil on the pan, on the plancha, fry them, throw a little bit of cheese, get your meat in there, close it, fry it, and then boom, on the meat. We, it's real simple, it's uh, these recipes, my dad's is different from everybody's, but uh, it's real simple, all you gotta get if you want to do it at home, if you want to do it uh, anywhere, just get you get your some uh, chili guajillos, get you some garlic, get you some uh, camino, comi cummins, cominos, and then uh, black pepper, throw it in there, you have to marinate the meat, don't boil it, you have to marinate it, throw it in the... Throw it in the horno and the pozo, and then boom. And all the juice that comes out of the meat, that's 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 where you dip your taco with. These kind of tacos, you can you can't just get any cheese. You gotta get the real real cheese. We use mozzarella cheese, the best one there is out there. That that juice is it a secret sauce? The juice, it's uh, yeah, it is a secret sauce. Ah, don't tell me that. Ceviche mango, muy rico. Yo los tacos de quesito, muy rico y muy recomendable. Mango, y está muy rico, se los recomiendo. El ceviche está delicioso, sin taquitos, y está todo muy rico. Quería quesitacos. Okay, alright guys, this is the quesitacos. 
Now I see the chile, I see the... Don't forget your consomme, it, it, there is always a cup in here. This is the secret for these tacos. All right. Squeeze some little bit of lime. All right, so squeeze some lime. And, and then dip it in there. Dip it in there. And then go for it. And then go for All it. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do this. It's nice and hot. Let's do this. Ooh. Look at that cheese. Guys, the cheese and the lemon and the sauce, whatever you put in the sauce, I know you won't tell us, but whatever you put in the sauce, that is good, guys. You guys gotta try and come out. The crunch is really crunchy. It's not too wet, it's not too too dry. You're talking about a really delicate This is the Basso Caso. Uh, most places give you about half of the beer with half of the margarita slushy. This is an entire slushy and the beer hasn't been opened yet. Really getting the, the value for the money. Mendo, la, la ceviche. That's the ceviche. La ceviche we make over here, it's a, it's a mixed ceviche, ceviche mixto. You gotta get your fish, you gotta get your shrimp, you gotta get your crab meat, and then you gotta cook it in lime. We have some homemade salsas, the black seafood salsa we make it at home. We on the black salsa we make, it's special, that's a special salsa just for seafood, and that one has a chiltepin. The chiltepin is a chile that comes from Sinaloa. We get it, we get some different spices to make this salsa. We have another habanero sauce, don't forget to do it. And then we got, the, everybody calls them chalupas. We have the homemade tostadas that's gonna kill your ceviche. Oh yeah. Whenever you have that in your mouth, it's like you're having a party in your mouth. Okay, so I can tell you right now, just by the colors, I do see uh, some onions, some purple onions. I see some cilantro already. And of course the ceviche. Give this a try. It, I can see on the colors, they really complement each other. You just kind of drizzle the hot sauce, like my, my buddy said. And he said, hmm, you can tell this is, this is really uh, delicious. Mouth is watering, all right. all right. And I eat these every day. All right, so I'm just going to do it first. I know we have some homemade chalupa, so I'm going to try this oh, yeah. first a little bit with the chalupa. You can go in. Mmm, that sauce complements the ceviche really well. It is not too hot, it is not too spicy. I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece off this homemade chalupa. Now, you say to dip it in the sauce? You can dip it in your sauce. Okay, I'm gonna both dip it in. Them. All right, I'm gonna dip it in and both of them. get your ceviche and go at it. All right, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead with the ceviche <clears throat> again. We're gonna take that dip. Let's go for the pool. Mm. Mm. It's like a party in my mouth. And everybody's invited. You guys, you guys gotta try this. This is unbelievable. Everybody, if you come over and you don't know what to order, or you don't know how to say what you're gonna order, we're gonna help you out. What I tell a lot of people, once, once you, once you come over here, if you know how to order, we're gonna help you out. You gotta go eat it. As soon as you finish eating, you're gonna start speaking fluent Spanish. It's so Mexican that after you eat this stuff right here, that's a real deal. You gotta come to straight back to the window, speaking Spanish. Up next, an interesting name, but with variety of flavor. So I got a question, and hey Jay Hood, do you know any good food trucks that serve Indian food? And I'm like, oh, hold up. You know what? Let's find it. So I'm here at the Babcock Square in San Antonio, Texas, where I found a truck that serves a variety of Indian food. But not only that, they take it up another level with their spices. So this is Tika Island food truck. This is my second time coming to this truck. I always get the cheap chicken tikka. The reason why I like it is because it's spicy and not like a crazy hot, hot, hot spicy, but that nice spice that has some flavors with it. Um, I also tried the, um, the vegetable noodles with the shrimp. That's definitely perfect too because the garlic is not overpowering. But this is my second time. I keep coming back. Great portions for the price. I recommend it for anybody. Hi, I'm Jay. I'm here with Ramesh with the Tika Island food truck. Now, okay. What made you want to get a food truck? Uh, basically, it's a passion, you know, like uh, not only the Indian people, like American people also love the Indian food nowadays, you know, like they want to explore a new food and they want to try the Indian food especially, you know. So when we put it in that category, like uh, the food truck was more efficient and it was easy to, you know, easy to handle, easy to run. 
Dubai. So Lacing does not have the right. So that's how we got into this. Uh, so far it's going well. It's with a lot of variety. <laughs> so what, you, what was your favorite dish now? Um, there are a lot of dishes actually like uh, especially you love mother's food you know like right, right. Each other, like they used to make like a lot of authentic Indian food like if you come to India you have a lot of things to explore that's very true so very, very true. Uh, especially you can just try the biryani like everybody likes it you know okay especially okay. even the American guests they like biryani biryani in the sense like it's a masala rice where the meat and rice cooks together with a nice mm. flavor in India, we have a lot of states, like each state has their own cooking method and uh, own tradition. Right, what makes your food so unique that I, you know, everywhere else, I have to come here? Oh, uh, it's Indian masala, like spicy, spices, you know. Okay, okay. Like, uh, uh, the Indian spices are very special, it plays a major role in Indian food. Okay. You know, like, uh, if you have a proper spices and herbs, your food will be amazing. So you hear that guys, pepper, herbs and spices. Yeah. That, that's the key. Actually like uh, to be frank with you, like uh, herbs and the spices, they are not only in, in place as a medicine as well. So, so that's why they have a, that's a, such a like more. Well, I know that there are dishes, mm -hmm. and, and, and tell me if I'm wrong, that there are some spicy dishes. What I'm talking about like, and I know Hispanics are known for spicy. Okay, we know that, but but I know in cultures that you have a dish that's so spicy. Um, what is it? Do you have it? Do you yeah, like um, there's no secret in that. Actually, we use a lot of uh, in the peppercorn, you know, peppercorn powder, or old peppercorn. That's awesome. So that's the that's the that's the secret. There is no big secret at all. That's the simple secret actually. So we use green chili okay. for the flavor. Green chili will give you some flavor and nice spiciness and then red chili powder, as you see. Like, like, right. Yeah. And then the peppercorn. Peppercorn. All right. So that gives you a nice flavor. So which dish is it? I'm not gonna eat it, guys. Turn, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Each dish. Like, like uh, if you go for the grilled fish, you'll know it actually. Like the spicy okay. would be. Guys, if you like that spicy, you gotta come here. Grill fish with that spicy. Uh, masala, uh -huh. and it's very flavorful, and it's also spicy, and um, the meat is very tender, and it comes with white rice as well. It's really good. Bye. The food here, the, there's a big variety, and I've been to many Indian places in town, several of the buffets around here, and for me, the service is fast, the food's amazing, the quality is great, and they always get it just spicy enough to how I like it. So how did you prep those those foods, like, you know, the ingredients, and what was used? I know you mentioned some of the chili powder, like, yeah, yeah. What, what was made, like, how did y'all make that? How did you... Something about, like, this rice, your vegetables, like, mixed vegetables, okay. like, cabbage, carrot, okay. and, um, no, no, capsicum. Okay. So you cut them in julienne shape. Okay. So we toss them in the egg and then rice, which one? Like chili powder, like little peppercorn powder. That's so just toss, toss all them, all of them together. It, it, it matters like how much you're adding. You know? Okay. Each, each thing. That's where uh, you get them to Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna actually try it. Out. So guys, I'm looking at this dish. It looks very colorful. You can see that the vegetables are really well done. And not only that, that the colors on this plate is so magnificent. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go for this plate, the chicken fried rice. Let's go for it. It's very inviting. It's very succulent. Now, you can tell that sometimes with rice, it does get sticky or they don't cook it properly. I'm telling you right now, this rice is none of those things. It is cooked to perfection. Let's take a paneer tikka masala, chili paneer. And it tastes so good. We have been there. Uh, we have been here for a couple of times and we love it. Atlas Chicken 65 here at Tikka Island. All right. You can tell on the colors, it's beautiful. Like, it's very second, like, I can just pull this out. I mean, it, you, you're, you know, there, you got some chicken places that is very, you have to play with it. No, very easy. The colors on this, I know you can see on this chicken is beautifully colored. There is no mess, it's beautiful. All right, let's go for a dip, that way it's hot. Oh. You find it juicy? Oh my goodness guys, it is so juicy. It's wonderful. The flavors they play work together. I am not kidding guys. You gotta the spice. Hold on. I oh whoa. Guys, that spice there's a spice after kick. It, but it's a good spice. Mango lassi, oh it's so thick. 
and it's uh, it's smooth. Everywhere else, they just serve it in a bottle. My favorite dish is the chicken fried rice, and it's because um, it, first of all, this place is halal, and I'm Muslim, so okay. it's really cool to have a food truck that's able to cater to like my dietary needs. I love how it tastes, and it reminds me of it. Next, a truck that uses rice as its base. All right, guys. So I found this interesting truck that. You know, you're probably thinking like, okay, what does it serve? Does it have pizza? Does it have onion rings? Does it have a pound of rice? That's right, you heard that. A pound of rice, and other than that, you can choose your own proteins, like fried egg, or maybe some Chinese barbecue. Hey, who never knows, the sky's the limit. This is Pound It. from all the way from California to Texas to let us know about this food now. Okay, everybody want to know, including me, Pound It. Where did that came from? So the name Pound It basically came from, um, I started this with COVID in the city, right? Okay, okay. And then the whole thing about it is you couldn't, uh, no one wanted to hug, no one wanted to even shake, right? So it was like, like you know, like, uh, you oh, oh, it, you pound it. Pound, you know I mean? guys. It was like, that, like, <laughs> sense of approval, right? Like, oh, no, this is good, you know what I mean? So you just like, you gotta pound it. And then, obviously, it's uh, I sell it with uh, bowls by half pound and a full pound. Okay. Right. So that also plays into the name. So okay, half pound and a full pound in in your bowl in your in food. A, yeah. So like you get a half pound of rice, right, which comes out to a pound, and then you get if you get the pound, it basically has two pounds of food. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. So what's your inspiration for your food? Okay. Um. So growing up, I grew around a lot of um, Asians, right, uh, Laos, Cambodians, uh, Vietnamese, and they always had like rice. Every culture okay. has rice, right? Um, what I liked about it is um, that's what I grew up with. And I came to Texas, brisket and uh, you know barbecue True. and you know True. tacos, like that's great, you know. And I wanted something that reminded me of home. Okay. And so I started asking people, where do you get your rice, right? And they're like, Pan Express, Pan Express, right? It's like the go-to. So. I wanted to create something that would make me feel at home and yeah. bring my culture of California to here to Texas. And it's been like pretty well received. Growing up at home. Uh, growing up at home, hey, I'm going to be able to do fried rice. It has to be fried rice, you know? That's so you got to do what you love, right? That's yeah, and I'm very passionate about it, so that's why I created it. Yeah. I'm trying to get the, the pork belly. Um, that's my favorite. I've tried uh, the spam, I've tried the teriyaki chicken, the Chinese pork. But I'm a pork belly guy. Uh, to me, that's just it's, it's great. All the flavor of it. You can, you can tell like, he puts a lot of care into it. He puts a lot of interest in the meat. For me, I usually get the pork belly. That pork belly is uh, top notch. Pretty good stuff. Great flavor. My wife likes the egg. I'm kind of like in between between it. But uh, pork belly is definitely the way to go. We're gonna do the smoked pork belly. All right. What I like about my pork belly is um, I get the slabs of uh, pork. I cure it myself. Right. So it's three day cure. We also do. Um, drying it for two days, and then I smoke it for six to eight hours. So it gets a light smokiness to it, so when you're doing the rice, every bit's gonna taste like smoky bacon. Is there any way you make that brine? No, it's just like a, like a pink salt, like a salt. Okay. Like salt, basically salt cure. Okay. This is what makes the rice. So it's butter, ginger, garlic, uh, chicken bouillon, and salt. A little bit of it, just to amplify it. Chicken with the uh, egg on top and uh, kimchi. All right guys, so teriyaki chicken, egg on top with kimchi right over here. I can see it's freshly green. Yeah. I'm talking about like, it's not like in a can. It, this is, we're talking about, it is beautiful color green. You can see it's beautifully made, wonderfully. Let's go for that bit. Mm. I love how the flavors just work together that melts in your mouth. Let's go with that chicken. Go again. It's like heaven in my mouth, guys. It is a merry, happy heaven. Looking forward to this. It's one of my favorite items that I've had um, from when I first met Jeremy. I would crave his rice because it separates itself from any other fried rice bowl in San Antonio. 
last time I came, I got the smooth pork belly. And I had the, the fried egg. Uh, with the, the Cali style fried rice. Smooth pork belly with an egg, the kimchi, macros, scallions, and the secret sauce. And you have pork belly inside, and you also have the showpiece up top. All right, guys, so our pork belly is nicely cut. You can see the grill marks. So, guys, it's really in. Let's go. Smoky, salty. Guys, it is perfectly. We're talking about that smoke to perfection. The rice, beautifully well made with that secret sauce on top, it blends all well together. When it comes down to the kimchi, the special sauce, right? It's, it took me two years to create it. It's gonna be a cabbage, an apple cabbage, daikon, green onion, and then you let it uh, ferment, right? For Usually it's uh, three months. So I kind of cheat. What I do is I get the old batch of kimchi, right? And I put it into the paste. So it inoculates it, so it goes uh, faster. So basically I take like a sourdough starter, if you will, and it takes basically three months up to three days. So it just knocks out the three months and it's only three day process. So the best thing about that is I can sell it. So I'm gonna start selling kimchi and you can buy little jars uh, either here at Pound It or online. Hey guys, that wraps it up for me. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. You know what, don't take my word for it. Go check them out for yourself. Like them, follow them, go see what they're like. Well. Until the next episode, I'm Jay Huayala. This is the Food Truck Show. Peace.